the future of the ethanol industry is extraordinarily bright. You know, we're producing more ethanol today than we ever have. EPA currently limits refiners to blending just 10% ethanol in gasoline. Now, in other parts of the world, in Brazil, for example, they blend up to 25% ethanol. Now, they're using virtually the same vehicles. It's the same gasoline infrastructure. There's no reason why we in this country can't go to E12, E13, E15, something more than E10. There's nothing unique about Brazil that ultimately couldn't be done here. It's time to move beyond 10% ethanol because our nation's energy requirements demand that we do so. If we're going to reduce our dependence on imported oil, we have to blend more ethanol into gasoline. If we're going to address our nation's crippling economic crisis, we're going to have to use more domestic renewable fuels like ethanol. And if we're going to address the global climate change crisis, we better figure out a way to blend more renewables like ethanol into our gasoline. It's also important that we be able to meet the targets established by the energy bill. The bill that was signed in 2007 requires refiners to ultimately blend 15, 20, 36 billion gallons of ethanol. You can't do that with just 10% blends in our nation's motor fuel. The artificial constraints that exist today that limit refiners to 10% ethanol in each gallon of gasoline are unnecessary and outdated. Our nation's energy economic and environmental requirements demand that we do more.